So you want to know how to make $10,000 per month in 2023. You want to finally escape the nine to five and live the life that you've always dreamed of. Now in this video, I'm not gonna give you the secret or a get rich quick scheme, but what I am gonna give you is the exact five fundamentals I followed to go from a depressed wagey working a nine to five, slaving away, to then earning my first $10,000 month in just six months of starting my business. So if you're sick of doing the same shit year after year, then watch and listen very closely because this could actually be the year you make something happen. For a lot of you, the work involved to get to $10,000 a month may seem so daunting that you'd probably give up before even starting. With the introduction of these short form video apps, everyone's dopamine has been completely to the point you can barely make it past a three second video without getting bored. Dopamine plays a crucial role in your motivation and that is why you need to take back control if you ever want to stand a chance of reaching this financial milestone. So how do we do it? The first and easiest thing you must do is remove all social media off your phone. Now if that scares you, good. You're about to lose a huge dopamine trigger. It's gonna feel like a massive loss in the beginning, but I can assure you it's one of the main things in your life that is holding you back from your true potential and getting rid of it entirely will break you free from its trap. What you should also do is put your screen time on your home screen as a widget. Now this will make it extremely clear where your attention and time is being wasted every single day. You will be surprised about how much time you actually waste on useless apps every day. So as you delete all your apps, I want you to watch your screen time and watch how low it goes compared to the days before. You may end up gaining an extra three to six hours a day that then you can use to build a life that you actually want to live instead of escaping the life that you hate. Now lastly, as part of the dopamine detox, you need to quit alcohol and drugs entirely. As much as you might think you're more creative or productive on a certain substance or a few drinks every now and again won't hurt, I can assure you it will not bring your goal of getting to $10,000 per month any closer. All it will do is get in the way. It's time to get focused, shut out all the distractions and build the life that you want. Then once you've reached a huge milestone, then sure, have a couple of drinks to celebrate. But until then, living life sober is your best option. saying that a strong body leads to a strong mind couldn't be more true. I've grown up around fitness my whole life. Being in the gym five days a week, competing in bodybuilding at the age of 17, I believe it was actually one of the main reasons that I was able to reach $10,000 per month so quickly. The reason is it teaches you more about discipline than most other things in life. When building a physique, everything matters. You can't just have that donut because surely one won't hurt. You can't just miss a training session because you're tired and you're all I'll do it tomorrow. No, you have to be 100% focused all of the time. Your sleep must be in check, your diet must be in check, and your training must be in check. You have to live and breathe the gym. Anyone that goes to the gym will know this. Now the exact same goes for building a business that produces you $10,000 a month in income. You must stay 100% focused on that goal and the daily action steps that it takes to get there. But we'll touch on that later in another step. So if you haven't gone to the gym before and you're just starting out, what I want you to do is just get a membership at your local gym, get a couple introductory personal training sessions and a program made that you can work on each and every week. It's a worthwhile investment to make in your health. Stick to the program and level up each and every week, have a really good diet, and I can assure you after a year's time, you will thank yourself. I'm sure we've all heard the saying that you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Now that saying still holds true, you should definitely be more intentional about who you spend the most time with. But more importantly than that, especially in this digital age that we now live in, you also need to be extremely careful about what you're watching and what you're listening to. Start actually actively listening to the music you listen to and question, is it actually a positive force for your life? Now this might sound a bit eerie fairy to you, but you would be surprised about the profound effect that music can actually have on your mindset. The same can be said for the content that you watch. Become very aware of what you're actually consuming on a daily basis. And if it has nothing to do with this financial goal that you're embarking on, then just cut it out entirely. If you think, well, that doesn't sound quite fun. It's not supposed to be fun. That's the point, it's not supposed to be pleasurable. The path to $10,000 a month is filled with a lot of sacrifices that you have to make. But if you're actually serious about creating this abundant life for yourself, 
then you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to win. Now that you've filtered out what you see and hear in the external world, you now need to conquer your own inner dialogue. If you don't first believe in yourself up here, then you're gonna find it very hard to achieve anything in the real world. Everything I have ever achieved in my life, I first achieved 10 times over in my mind. I was 100% certain I was capable of it. I'll leave you with a quote from Earl Nightingale to make this sink in. We become what we think about most of the time, and that's the stranger's secret. Now this is arguably one of the most important fundamentals to 10K per month, and that is getting extremely clear on your goals. Establishing a specific goal is the first step to achieving it. You can't just write down, I want more money. If that's the case, then an extra cent to your bank account, you've achieved your goal. So for me, one of my goals for this year is I have produced $300,000 in income in 2023. I then break it down by certain income streams. Next, you need to come up with your why. Is it to create a better life for your family? Is it to escape that nine to five that you dread going to every morning? Again, the more specific and the more emotion you can get behind this why, the better. Next, you wanna break down your goal. I suggest breaking it down into monthly milestones, weekly targets, and daily action steps. It's important to do this because a big goal like $100,000 in a year can seem like a big task when you look at it like that. Lastly, you should write this all down into a Google Doc or a Google slide and read it every morning and every night. Once you've read through it, close your eyes and visualize yourself doing each of these daily tasks, reaching those weekly targets, smashing those monthly milestones, and ultimately achieving your goal. It reminds you, each and every day of the path you're on, why you're on it, and what you need to do to achieve it. A trap that a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs fall into, and I was guilty of this myself, is consuming all of the self-help content, planning out everything perfectly, waiting till they feel ready, and then never actually taking steps that move the needle forward. You should spend no longer than a few days getting your life in order. Do not allow yourself to think that you're progressing by consuming all of the self-help content. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous to say when this is literally self-help content, but it's the truth. Spoiler alert, you will never feel ready. It will never be the perfect time. When I first started my business, I felt like a complete imposter. And there's actually a name for it, it's called imposter syndrome. I didn't feel worthy enough to be providing the service that I was providing to my clients, but I did it anyway, because I understood very quickly that if I wanted to get good at my craft, I had to go out and do it. There's only so much planning and consuming of knowledge that you can do. there you have it, those are the five fundamental steps that I took to reach $10,000 per month in my business in just six months. Now once you get your life in order and you want to know some specific financial vehicles that can actually produce that sort of income, then let me know down below in the comments and I'll make a follow up video on the best businesses anyone can start in 2023. Stay focused, work hard and I'll see you in the next one.